pilot. Best in the galaxy. I might be the only person. Who knows? What you really are. Well, congratulations. Thank you very much. Now seeing the film, it must feel like, wow. Wow. <laughs> wow, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Mm, a long time coming and a lot of expectation. Absolutely. Well, it's something you're very aware of when you take on the part, when you say yes to doing the job. You're not just saying yes to playing a part, you're saying yes to a kind of whole life adventure. So, you know, it feels good because I kind of, you know, spent some time, made sure that was my answer and I'm, I'm happy to be going through this. I suppose it's easy to just copy something because obviously Harrison Ford is so legendary in this role. How do you walk the line between just not imitating him as well? Well, I think that's, that's exactly what the job is, is I looked at all the original stuff very early on, right when I had the part, and tried to absorb as much as that as I possibly could and then so I can kind of put it aside and concentrate on the guy you're meeting now who's at a different time in his life, he's a different kind of person, but the, I think it's the most important thing is it feels like a real person and that there's a kind of continuity between that person and the guy you meet later. Since when do you know how to fly? 190 years old? You look great. What was it like when you saw Chewbacca on the set? It was actually during my screen test. One of my third screen test was on the Millennium Falcon with Chewbacca. And so doing that with him was just like such a wild experience. <laughs> he's he's a tall. lot. He's tall. You know, you don't realize quite how tall he is until you're there, but he is very tall. Can I ask you a question, Captain Calrissian? Anything, Han? It's Han, but that's okay. I heard a uh, story about you. I was wondering if it's true. Everything you've heard about me is true. I know for you, Lando Calrissian was a character that you really wanted to play because you knew him from a child, right? Yeah. What did someone like Billy Dee Williams mean back in the 80s? Did he leave some kind of legacy as well that you feel? I guess when Empire Strikes Back, it came out like, what, 1981 or 82 or something like that. I, I, I still wasn't born yet and what, the best things that can come from that is like, it just, it's normalized. You know, like I was just, it was just normal at that point. And he gave you some pretty good advice, I believe. Yeah, he said just be charming, which is... Easy. I mean, it comes hard sometimes, but other times you're like, oh yeah, like just, yeah, just do that. Which is probably a little more difficult with your role because you couldn't just be charming, you had to be quite a kick-ass as well. Yeah, you? I had to really sit on my own charm for this, uh, <laughs> for this role. <laughs> That droid. There were moments when I first heard that she was the first female droid and you wanted, you know, there are always going to be traps to fall into that she might have to be kind of like, kind of sassy lady droid and she's just not. She's badass. Get your presumptuous ass out of my seat. Oh, my sack little occipital circuit is sticking. You're going to have to do that thing again later. Yeah. And I love the relationship with the two of you because there's kind of a little bit of joy and love going on there. Just oh, a little, little kind oh, yeah. of. Oh, yeah. absolutely. There's a lot. Yeah, yeah a ton. Yeah. You never really get to see them alone. No. Really, really. But yeah, I love that. You might want to buckle up, baby. You look good. A little rough around the edges, but good. Heard about a job. Big shot gangster putting together a crew. We need an incredibly fast ship. When did you both feel like you were in a Star Wars movie? When There must have been a moment where you were just like, oh my God, I'm actually in a Star Wars film. Day one filming. Day one filming. Day being one on a, filming. Like a star cruiser and there's a big party going on mm -hmm. and there's like a girl in a stuff. sequin gold thing and she's dancing and then there's a R2 unit goes by with champagne flutes and then I go and you know, shake hands with a Wookiee. That was. It's that pretty was Star Wars. That's a pretty that's Star Wars you experience. Were in Star Wars. That's yeah. very Star Wars. Yes. Yeah. Kira is a great character because I love the fact that you're not really sure what's going on with her. Yeah, absolutely. To have a little kind of mystique going on within the storyline allows me as the actor to sort of inhabit a different space and to kind of keep your cards close to your chest is quite exciting. It just allows a little bit of intrigue that I think is well placed in a Han Solo movie. Yeah, but you notice that freighter down there? You know what's on it? About 30 hired guns. All I gotta do is give them the signal, you're surrounded. I went into it 
really just feeling like, well, I can help. Mm -hmm. This is something that it's like a directorial challenge, a test, an exercise. Because you sort of came in once the film was already finished. That's right, it was underway. There yeah. were creative differences. Phil Lord and Chris Miller uh, left the project. Mm -hmm. And it's such a great story and such an important, iconic character that I did feel like I could help. Once I got into it, this young cast was so energizing and that was sort of infectious, and the whole spirit around the movie was exciting and fun, and I, I wound up having a blast working on it. Why does Alden, uh, he really captures Han Solo really well. Why do you think he does it so well? Well, Alden is a very thoughtful, talented, sort of student of the media, and while he didn't want to do an imitation of Harrison Ford, and even Harrison Ford himself said, please, I think that would be a mistake, you know, Alden needs to try to find, um, you know, his own version of the, of, of the character. Um, I think, I think Alden did a lot of great homework to understand it. But also, don't forget, Larry Kasdan wrote this script with his son, John. Larry had written not only three other Star Wars movies that featured, you know, Han Solo, but he also wrote Raider, Raiders of the Lost Ark. And I think there's a kind of a flavor of Raiders of the Lost Ark within this movie. You know, that screenplay was there to help guide Alden and create the opportunities for those choices. And as a really talented, smart actor, you know, he uh, understood how to, how to play them. Thought we were in trouble there for a second, but it's fine. We're fine. Oh, 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 oh. 